Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Talk Your Thought by Katsuragi. Today is going to be another video podcast where I will be taking the psychopath test. And honestly, I'm not sure which this is going to be included in initial thoughts or story talk. But yeah, I will be doing that today. I'll be sh- I'll be showing all of our answers. I have here with me my special guest who is quite busy right now. Uh, my cousin Purple Lulu. <laughs> this type of podcast i you can listen to me on m- many different podcasting platforms like spotify anchor and apple podcast and also i have uh, a video podcast like this uh, which is available on my youtube channel sakurako space katsuragi and if you wanted to show support i have a patreon page at www.patreon.com slash talk your thought all right so let's get into test so i have the idrlabs.com um, exam and she's also in it are you are you okay yes <laughs> okay so apparently we have to it, it is in different languages so I'm going to choose of course the English language and I just wanted uh, it is one of the <laughs> questions would be oh, who do you want to assess for psychopath I want to assess myself of course <laughs> and the next is I have had many serious romantic relationships that have fallen apart after a short time. I never have one. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> we'll see in her answers right now. Um, does not apply. I feel like, yeah, it does not apply really. <laughs> Oops. Oh, what happened? Oh, I. Okay. Um, question number three is I have often tricked, conned, and or manipulated people. Hmm. I don't think I can ever trick a person because I don't know how to lie. I'm not a very good liar, although sometimes I do want to. <laughs> uh, but it's just much easier to tell the truth sometimes. So, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Conned someone? No. <laughs> I don't know exactly how that is happening. I, I feel like um, if you have watched uh, Legend of the Blue Sea, Lee Min Ho there is a con artist and he is like one of the most intelligent person that you'll ever meet in your life because he can like do all of these things like um, apparently in uh, for con artists sometimes they do have this trick where they have to repeat the same um, patterns in order for you to like uh, get into their minds apparently. And so, yeah, it ha- you have to be very smart, and I'm not that kind of smart. So, um, I don't know, how, I don't exactly know if I've manipulated people, maybe unintentionally, but <laughs> I'll just say that it does not apply to me. Do you have any inputs? Yeah, no. The questions are not in order. <gasps> the questions are not in order! Oh no. So. And I have, okay. There's a lot of ads in here. Okay, so what I'm going to show, I mean, now that we know, that we know that it's not in order, so the questions uh, in her screen would be quite different as to what I am currently reading on my screen, but we'll just continue. I, I hope that this is these are the same set of questions though. Okay, let's just, Right. I am characterized by shallow emotional responses. Shallow. I I don't exactly know what this means. Emotional responses. I am characterized by shallow emo- so, um I think before I was quite emotional when it comes to um, discussing matters. Uh, but since I do have this uh, type of job that requires me to be sometimes uh, have a have a balance um, in personal and in my emotional and also technical aspects. Um, I quite develop a few responses where sometimes I have to make sure that I'm not too emotional, and also that is quite a, a joke as well. Whenever we do answer emails, professional emails, I'm not sure if you can relate to this, uh, Lulu, <laughs> Lulu, but. Um, sometimes uh, you have to make sure that there is not much emotional um, elements in your email. It's just like straightforward with what you wanted to say. So 
that is what I'm trying to practice at least. So, but I, I must say it should be applied partially because, yeah, I'm quite an emotional person, emotional being right here. <laughs> I am a pathological liar. So, um, for pathological liar, this is going to be, uh, you know, you, you, it, it's like your, your second nature is to lie. Just like what I mentioned a, a while ago, I don't really exactly know how to lie. So, I'll just, does not apply to me. <laughs> Number six, uh, I have a history of promiscuous sexual behavior. What is that? What is promiscuous? <laughs> but I'm, yeah, I no, because this is like sexual behavior and I don't have ex I don't have experience in it because yeah, it would be quite um it would be quite um ironic if I answer something different in here because I don't have any relationship just yet. So okay, promiscuous um, does not apply to me. I have a history of exhibiting cruelty to others. Cruelty to others. I might be insensitive, but I was never cruel, I think. So, no. Okay, this is quite a long one. Uh, question number eight is, I have at some point in my life been given a mild reprimand or a warning by the authorities on the condition that I did not, re that I did not repeat my offense. Yet, nevertheless, ended up repeating the offense anyway. I've never had criminal. <laughs> Do you have like NBI clearance? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> All right. So if we both have like a clear and sometimes you, you do have NBI clearance, but some, there, there are some notes in their remarks. My mine is clean, so yeah, you can hire me. <laughs> Alright, does not apply to me. I've never committed a crime. Um, I have a history of juven juvenile delinquen delinquency and or crime. This is quite very, I mean the questions are quite um, direct to the point. I feel like this is like, this is not exactly psychopathy. You didn't know for yourself that you are psychopathic. It's like actually asking a person that is psychopathic. Uh, not even a tendency. Um, juvenile delinquency and or crime? No, really. Um, maybe just to, since this is quite a story talk as well. Um, what? This is not even close to a crime, but uh, one of my pet peeves was when someone is waking me up while I was sleeping, and uh, during that time, <laughs> um, my brother asked me to fix my mom's phone and I was not really in the mood because I just woke up and actually he woke me up just to fix a cell phone settings and so on and I just thought in my in my head that you know you, you can do that uh, yourself why would you have to wake me up and I have a I have not even slept for quite a while I mean yeah it's my fault as well because I, I slept too late in the evening but anyway what I did was to punch the the wall I'm not sure if you know that you know that scene before but yeah I did punch the wall just so you know <laughs> just the walls <laughs> yeah and I even have like scratches in here because I, I wanted to show them that I can punch something <laughs> so that is like the closest one but it's not even a crime because I can't really hurt a person <laughs> so or even an animal so yeah, I can I can hurt a wall. If you want me to hurt you, be a wall. <laughs> so I I think it it still doesn't apply because yeah. Then that question, I display a lack of remorse or guilt. I display lack of emotion sometimes, but I don't lack guilt. It just doesn't show my, in my face, but it it is really overflowing inside of me, so it, it does not apply actually. I don't. I can't talk to you right now because you have a different question. Um, anyway, I have overly. I am overly impulsive. Hmm. Maybe I can answer to this like partially because there are some uh, matters that I feel I am impulsive. 
Um, but when it comes to, of course, buying things, <laughs> it usually takes. I follow the five days or seven, uh, one week rule. So if I still want that item, I would buy it after that uh, period. But if not, I'll just I'll keep it. <laughs> what? Oh, oh no. Anyway, um, she said that her mom's calling. So <laughs> I'll just cut that off. <laughs> your, just cut that off your screen record. But yeah um i think partially applies i don't remember an example of me actually being impulsive for some mothers but i feel like there are some instances that i do that um especially if it's um kind of um low risk if i may put it that way so yeah i i, I sometimes do that 12th question i have an excessive need for stimulation and i'm prone to boredom Yes, I'm prone to boredom. That's why I do a lot of things. That's why I do this podcast. <laughs> and I do a lot of like craft and I, sometimes I do clean the house when I'm bored. So yeah, I need something to do with, with myself. <laughs> um, yeah, applies very well. I have an easy or unconstrained social style. I have a very constrained social style, if that is what it means. But as, I, uh, as I have mentioned, I think I've mentioned it in some of my podcasts, but I am quite of an introvert. introvert. Uh, yes, I do talk a lot, but I just talk to people that I am comfortable with. And uh, that is when I cannot stop talking. <laughs> so if I'm getting um, you know, um, annoying because I talk a lot, yeah, I'm comfortable with you. <laughs> so does not apply. I am callous and or lack empathy so in Tagalog this is like manhid I think right so um honestly it's, it's just that I don't show a lot of this but I think it partially applies because I don't have empathy to everyone I just have empathy to those uh, people that matters to me uh, I think that is how I can best explain this so it applies partially I have broken many different types of laws. My law breaking has not been restricted to any single domain such as sexual, financial, or similar. <laughs> um, applies very well. <laughs> what do you mean by grandiose? Grandiose? Grand um, for grandiose, I, uh, that's like extravagant. Yeah, she has another question for herself. <laughs> so, does not apply. 16th question, almost done. I like, uh, sorry, I live like a parasite on others. Example, by borrowing money, I will never pay back. Cynically exploiting others for favors. This is like, um, I ha my previous episode was actually my utang free diary. And that is exactly this. If you borrow money, always make it a point that you have to pay it back on the given or agreed period of time. Because what as a while I also mentioned in there, um, it, th that money might go somewhere that you know has a, a planned budget. I mean, budgeted plan for that specific month. So for that for that person that you have borrowed money from, so always make it a point to pay. And I usually am the one who lends money. I don't. Um, I usually don't. I try not to borrow money because I know that it feels like I am overspending already. That's why. That is mainly the reason why I don't borrow a lot of money except if it's from uh, cooperatives <laughs> so it does not apply to me really I have a grandiose sense of self-worth um yeah I, I, I feel like yes because <laughs> I'm not sure how grandiose I mean the grandiose maybe it's a, it applies partially me because it's because when you say grandiose sense maybe it's more of like take um putting others for uh, in, in an expense of others, sorry. This is going to be inexpensive of others. So I will choose applies partially because I I do work, um, value myself and even maybe more than anyone. <laughs> no, 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 I just know when to uh, actually prioritize myself, especially if it's, it is more of like self-care and all that. Maybe um, also mental health. So I am focusing more on those 
uh, because I know that I, that is what my body and also my mind needs as of the moment. So yeah, it applies to me, but not at the expense of others. 18th, um, I, lack, I lack realistic long-term goals. I'm neither drifting through life or chasing grandiose schemes that fail to pan out. My cream pops today failed, but, <laughs> but it's not a long-term goal. <laughs> I don't plan. I don't plan failing on cream pops every single time. <laughs> yeah, but um, I have a lot of long-term plans actually. I actually, what I think lacks is my short-term plans. I always have like these two um, far-off plans for myself. So it really doesn't apply to me. Nineteen, almost there. I have poor behavior con behavioral controls and find it hard to. To keep my impulses in check. Mm. I always make it a point that I am put together when I am um, with people, especially if it is someone that I am not um, very well familiar with. So I always make it a point that um, I have all my emotions and facial gestures in control, but sometimes you know. But I don't think that uh, that is what the poor behavior con controls would um, would actually include. But yeah, I don't think this applies to me. But we're, I think there was one instance. I just I just want to that, uh, tell that story. But there was one instance where I think I I've lost my patience because I've been trying to keep it. Uh, to myself but then it gets overflowing so I think it can apply to me partially to be honest 20th question second to the last question I have a habit of blaming others for my own problems and generally do not accept responsibility for my own actions it does not apply to me um, if anything sometimes I do have like it is also a bad habit I always blame myself for my problems even though sometimes when I talk to my friends and you know to to, uh, yeah, to other people about my problem or issues, they would just tell me that it's because of that certain person. It's not because of you, or it's because of that. Um, uh, not exactly the person, but because of the situation actually. So there are instances like that, but I keep blaming myself for the things that is happening. So. Yeah, that is also a bad habit. So don't do that to yourself. Be good. <laughs> Be good to yourself. Last question for me. I generally evade responsibility and do not answer to anyone in my in my life. I generally evade responsibility and do not answer to anyone in my life. It does not apply to me. Um, uh, if I do take on um, a certain responsibility, I try to make sure that I am keeping it and also I'm not... Um, compromising other person or other people especially if those people are the ones that matters so I always make it the point as well that I am doing what I am supposed to or at least what I have promised to to do all right so finished let us see is, is there going to be a result oh psychopathy test the person you attempted to rate is myself psychopathy threshold where is mine? This makes you 8.5% more psychopathic than the average person. You do not qualify as a psychopath on the psychopathy checklist. How about you? I got 8.5% more. I'm more psychopathic. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Need to uh, have a disclaimer as well. This this will not actually really tell you whether you have this condition. Because I feel like this is also a disorder and if this test tells you that uh, you are 8.5%, it doesn't mean that you are safe. <laughs> <laughs> You've mentioned the questions here were kind of straightforward, you know, like crimes and all that. So if you're a psychopathic, um, there may or may not be times that you have actually get caught. <laughs> I think that is it for for this episode and i just hope that i also shared a bit of my stories uh, when it comes to answering all of these questions although it's kind of like um just randomly sprouting stories about myself but i hope this also if you wanted to take this um 
test, I will be linking this in my description box as well as in um, the podcast. This is going to be another audio podcast, so I'll be adding that in my audio descriptions. So yeah, anyway, that is it for today, and um, I look, I'm going to hear you next time without purple lily on the side. All right.